Real estate is a regulated and organized profession, but who does what? This is what we're going to clarify. Let's start with the Real Estate Council of Ontario, or RICO. RICO was established in 1997 as a delegated administrative authority. RICO administers the Real Estate and Business Brokers Act 2002 and regulates the trade of real estate on behalf of the Ontario government. RICO's mission is excellence in the delivery of regulatory services that protect the public interest and enhance consumer confidence in the real estate profession. To trade in real estate in Ontario, real estate brokerages, brokers and salespersons must be registered with RICO, but some legislative exceptions apply. RICO regulates the activity of trade in real estate in the public interest. Protecting the public interest is achieved through Enforcing the standards required to obtain and maintain registration as a brokerage, broker or salesperson and delivering the duties of the registrar. Establishing minimum requirements for pre-registration and continuing education. Conducting routine inspections of brokerage offices to ensure compliance with REBA 2002 and educate brokers of record. Addressing inquiries, concerns, and complaints about the conduct of registrants received from all sources and taking appropriate action to protect the public interest. Establishing and administering insurance requirements, which include consumer deposit protection. Promoting ongoing education and competent, knowledgeable and professional service. RICO also administers the Code of Ethics, one of the regulations in REBA 2002. And, like all regulations, it is one to which all registrants must adhere. The Code sets out the conduct expected of brokerages, brokers and salespersons. The Code covers areas such as confidentiality, written representation, agreements, financial disclosure and advertising. RICO protects consumer interests by investigating complaints and concerns related to the conduct of brokerages, brokers and salespersons. RICO investigates all complaints and then determines whether disciplinary action is warranted. The extent of the discipline will depend on the nature of the complaint. RICO further protects consumer interests as well as registrants through its insurance program. All registrants must participate in RICO's insurance program, which consists of the three insurance coverages, errors and omissions insurance, commission protection insurance, and consumer deposit insurance. The consumer deposit insurance is free to the consumer. Registrants pay the insurance premiums. With this insurance, deposits on real estate transactions with registered real estate brokers and salespersons are protected in the event of insolvency, fraud, or misappropriation of funds. RICO's mandatory continuing education program is a great benefit to the profession. This program is designed to foster professional development and help registrants provide consumers with current and accurate advice. The Continuing Education Program requires registrants to maintain their knowledge and skills by completing mandatory education requirements in each two-year registration cycle. In addition, the RICO website and RICO newsletter, for the record, provide registrants with current and relevant information and news. Each of us must take a course on relevant regulatory issues governing our profession. In accordance with the Act, RICO regularly inspects the offices of brokerages as part of its routine operations. In addition to encouraging compliance with regulatory requirements, the inspection process enables RICO to educate brokerages about proper record keeping. These visits typically involve inspection of trade record sheets, accounting records, and the handling of trust monies. RICO also performs a courtesy inspection of a new brokerage upon request to ensure that current and appropriate records are being kept from the start of operation. Again, what is the role of RICO? To administer the Real Estate and Business Brokers Act 2002. Regulate the trade of real estate on behalf of the Ontario government. Enforce the standards required to obtain and maintain registration as a brokerage, broker or salesperson. If you'd like to learn more about RICO, go to the RICO website at www.rico.on.ca. Now that you have a better understanding of RICO's role in the real estate profession, 
let's look at some of the areas where misunderstandings often occur. You've probably heard terms such as organized real estate, realtor, and non-realtor. You may be confused by their meaning, so let's examine them more closely, starting with organized real estate. Most professions form associations to represent the interests of their members. In our profession, this is called organized real estate, and it has three levels, local, provincial, and national. At the local level are the real estate boards. Brokers and salespersons who choose to join a real estate board become members of organized real estate and may call themselves realtors. The Ontario Real Estate Association, known as ARIA, represents realtor interests at the provincial level. The Canadian Real Estate Association, known as CREA, represents the interests of all realtors in Canada. Thanks to a three-way agreement, when you join a real estate board, you automatically become a member of ARIA and CREA. It is important to understand that membership in organized real estate is optional. You don't need to join a board to trade in real estate. Being a RICO registrant is what enables you to trade real estate in Ontario. In fact, there are thousands of registrants who operate quite successfully without joining organized real estate. Again, how is real estate organized in Ontario? Three levels, local, provincial, and national. Real estate boards represent interests of realtors at the local level. ARIA represents realtor interests at the provincial level. CREA represents the interests of all realtors in Canada. So now that you know what organized real estate is, let's look at each of the three levels and some of the services they provide to realtors. Real estate boards work hard to ensure their members' professional knowledge and skills are up to date by delivering education seminars and workshops. These courses provide invaluable knowledge and skills for use on the job. Advocacy is another key service boards provide. Large or small, all boards ensure that the needs of the profession are first and foremost in the minds of municipal politicians and town councillors. The Ontario Real Estate Association is the provincial association. ARIA represents more than 60,000 brokers and salespersons who are members of the province's 40 real estate boards. ARIA's mission is help Ontario realtors, brokerages and associations. ARIA serves its members through a variety of publications, special services, and educational programs. ARIA also delivers all real estate registration courses in Ontario through the ARIA Real Estate College on behalf of RICO through a designate agreement between the college and RICO. To ensure that the courses are available to as wide an audience as possible, the college delivers them in three formats, classroom, correspondence, and e-learning. The classroom provides a stimulating and interactive learning environment. For those who work well on their own, correspondence, either textbook or CD-ROM, provides maximum flexibility and control over time. For those who are comfortable with technology, taking courses online via e-learning offers flexibility and the ability to learn from any location with internet access. To learn more about what the college has to offer, review the college's webpage on www.orea.com. The Canadian Real Estate Association provides Canadian realtors with a number of services and products. The three most important are a voice in federal government, listing access to Canada's largest public real estate database, realtor.ca, and self-populating standard forms, web forms. CREA owns the MLS trademark and has a proprietary interest in the Realtor trademark. These trademarks can only be used in Canada by Realtors who adhere to a strict code of ethics. CREA implements a Realtor code of ethics and standards of business practice by which all Realtors must agree to abide. And CREA runs a national advertising campaign designed to promote the value of using a Realtor to consumers. In closing, we hope you now have a better appreciation for how real estate is structured in Ontario and a better understanding of who the players are and the roles they play. Ask yourself these two questions. Number one, what one question would you ask about what you've seen in this video? Number two, what one thing have you learned from watching this video? For more information, visit the following websites.